Ooh, girl, I'm on one. I am on one. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video, son. And if you're new, welcome to Just Jean Bean. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know that you want to, not because you feel like you have to. And if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're updated with all my videos. So today, I just came up on a whim. I said, I have to get a video out. I don't know what I want to do. And then I just thought about, hmm, let me do a Q&A. I asked you guys on my Instagram, at reginiavet 88 to ask me anything and I'm, I was actually shook at the response that I got. I got a pretty decent response. I got a lot of questions, some statements, and some, I don't know what the hell they were. I guess, I guess you'll see. And then for a lot of my close friends who didn't see the post, I just asked them to ask me a question, just like on the spot. I said, let's ask me a question, boom. Don't just ask me a question. And so they all sent me uh, one question and I just added it to that because I was just interested in what they were gonna say. And of course, <laughs> my friends give me hard questions um, to answer. So this is gonna be interesting. I am a bit tipsy, just to let you know. I am a bit sauced and I'm giving you natural today. Um, all I have on is um, some Maybelline lipstick. Um, just filled in my eyebrows a little bit and um, some lashes. I moisturized my face because I was breaking out over here on the side, as you can see, all my hyperpigmentation. And I said, you know what? I just gotta give it to them natural today. Like, you know how much time it takes just to put on makeup for like one, maybe two videos that you do? I was like, girl, I don't have time. And then I retwisted my hair and I kept those in too. So we just all the way, we just all the way ratchet today, okay? We just all the way ratchet. Let's get on with the video. <clears throat> all right, all right, so here we go. Oh, you guys like my watch? First question, here we go. Have you ever considered getting plastic surgery? Yes, when I was younger, you know, do your chain hang low, do it wobble to the floor. I always thought about a breast augmentation because like, I have medium kind of like boobs. I don't know, some people may think they're big, but I just think it's just a lot of fat. I, I always wanted to perk them up, you know? And you know, as I'm older, I'm just like, no, like I don't care anymore. Um, there's still a little part of me that thinks about the time when I wanted to do that, just to have them nice and like round. Would I do it? No, I think I'm too scared to go under for that kind of procedure. So kudos to those who have done it, but yeah. Um, and then I also wonder about Botox. I don't need Botox, but I wonder. But then it's like, you know, I don't want that frozen look either. I don't know, half of my face is uneven anyway. So, you know, I would think about Botox, but. Yeah, I've considered, I, I've considered, I've. I've thought about it. I, I don't think I would actually do it, but I, I definitely have thought about it. Will you honor me one day with your presence and let me take you out? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> um, would you honor me one day with your presence? Well, first of all, I mean, I don't even know why you would say that. This person right here is someone that I've known for years, like since I was like six years old. So of course, whenever I'm around you, it's, it's lit. I think he's actually trying to ask something like really serious, like, bitch, would you go out with me? And I mean, shit, why not? See, the thing, the thing with you is that there's already a level of comfort. I still have to look at you on a basis of like, as if I don't know you. That would be the hard part, you know what I mean? Like to kind of judge like how you really are as a person. Because just because I knew you in the past doesn't mean I know who you are now. Although I think you're pretty much the same, but then people change, like things happen in life. So yeah, I don't know, but I definitely would go out and we would have like a blast. We would, ha we would have so much fun. So you already know I love you to death. So yes, I would go out with you. I. <laughs> the way you said it though, <laughs> you already know that though, like, 
you already have a winning hand over most of these dudes out here because you know me, bro. Like, you know me. Are you single? Yes, I am very single. What does it say? Single like a slice of American cheese. Singular than a dollar bill. Yeah, I'm fucking single. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear, I think I mentioned this in my get to know me video too. My biggest fear is not having a family or getting married. I know. It's almost like marriage is taboo these days too. It's like people just, <laughs> my biggest fear is not having children or a family of my own, mostly children. Um, I would like a husband someday, but like, I think I would be more devastated if I didn't have any kids. So yeah. Uh, hold on, I need to take a shot before this question because I just don't understand. <sighs> what is the square root of your phone number? Really? Like, first of all, I actually tried to figure this out. Like, I Googled that shit to see if there was an answer and if there was actually an answer. But the thing is, is that, like, is that supposed to be a pickup line? Or are you really... If I give you the square root of my phone number, then you can figure out what my phone number is. Like, duh. Assume the position. That's not a question. If you wanted to ask me something about maybe like my favorite positions or something like that, you should have just said that. Um, unless you want me to assume. Um, what did my, my friend say? She said something funny. <laughs> A CEO, entrepreneur, mother. <laughs> Oh my God, that, that was funny. I had to read that one to her. I was like, bitch, like, listen to this one. What are your favorite hobbies? So, I've kind of retired out of pageantry, yes. I used to compete in pageants. That was one of my favorite hobbies. Um, I just love glowing on stage and walking on stage and just having my moment. Give me my moment, bitch. Yeah, that was one of my biggest hobbies. Um, I do like to sing. Me, 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 me. La, 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 la. Oh, I don't really sing like that anymore. I was in the choir growing up and all that stuff. So um, I, guess, I guess like most people say, like this is a hobby, YouTube, even though I'm not looking at it like a hobby, it kind of is right now. So I guess I have to say YouTube. Whew, I'm getting hot in here. Favorite movies of all time. Favorite movies of all time. Um, that's a lot of movies. Uh, maybe I can pick a top three, which is Coming to America, Titanic. What's another movie that makes me cry? Shit. Lion King. Yeah. Lion King. Top five male and top five female MCs. That's interesting. Um, I was actually like, oh, okay, when I got this question, because this is something that's been kind of like going on lately. Well, ever since um, Mr. Dupree said what he said about stripper rappers, a lot of people have been talking about, well, you know, their tops and stuff like that and their favorites. Um, my top five female are Lil' Kim, Lauren Hill, Lisa Left Eye. I'm gonna put MC Light in there. And um, Nicki Minaj. I know it's like, really, you put Nicki in there? But yeah, I mean, I give credit where credit is due. And she did hold down the game for a long time. Um, so, and I, I do like Nicki. Like, when she first came out, I wasn't really feeling her like this, but she's grown so much and contributed so much. And I really like her. I really like her flow. And like, if it's almost like, if I like Kim, how can I not like Nicki? <laughs> that's the crazy part about it. Uh, so yeah, that's my top five for right now. I don't know. My mind might change, but that's my top five right now. Top five male, um, of course, Biggie, Tupac. That's automatic. Okay, that's automatic. Um, Eminem is one of my favorite favorites. Um, then I got, I gotta put Drake in there just cause I love him, like Drake. And then let's see, K 
KRS One. Just because that's what I grew up on. That's what I know. And I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx. Are you a freak? Everyone's a freak. Everyone's a freak in their own way. So, yeah, I mean, um, it depends on what you think freak is too. I mean, someone might say, hey, I picked my nose yesterday, freak! Like, you know, like, uh, what, I mean, everyone's a freak. <laughs> Cause everyone's different, you know? How long have you been locked? I've been locked for two years and a month. Um, wait. Yeah, two, two years and a month, going on two months. 2.2, 2. fuck it, I'll just say 2.2. 2. Do you like girls? I do find girls attractive. Um, the little gay side of me does find women attractive, but I don't think I can actually date a woman, like just like one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not confident in that area, it's just, I like, <laughs> too much <laughs> I like men too much just to exclusively be with a female but it doesn't mean I wouldn't be with a female you get what I'm saying like that goes back to are you a freak question <laughs> any pets yes I have a cat his name is Madison and he's the love of my life he is the cutest thing I should insert a picture of him but then chill okay so here's a serious one what are some of the most important goals you want to accomplish in life bitch most important it goes back to the fear thing my most important is to have kids like I want a family um, I would like to be a millionaire and nothing less I don't I don't have to be a billionaire but I would like to sit comfortable as a millionaire even if it's just one million, like I only need one million is even not even that much. Like, you know, like it's a lot, but it's not a lot. But if I made it to just that to see a million, like, yeah, that's that's a huge goal. Uh, if you could have one wish in the world fulfilled, what would it be? I don't want to put other people's business out there, but I, my one wish would be for someone um, who's pretty close to me to be like cured and well and overall just happy, you know what I'm saying? And not have to worry about um, their health. This is a two-parter question. Um, and this one says, what is the most toxic, harmful thing you've done to yourself? And what's the best thing you've done for yourself? I would say the most toxic, harmful thing would be neglecting myself, like for years. I tend to put others before me, and because of that, I ignore myself. And that's basically um, subconsciously a sign of not loving yourself. I think that's the most harmful thing that I did to myself is that I didn't love myself for a long time like for like basically my whole life. The best thing that I've done for myself is get out of a bad relationship. Just up and go and never look back. Yeah, you know, I'm not fully there yet, but you know, just taking that first step and realizing that something is not good for you and being strong enough to leave, is a big deal. Because there's a lot of people that who, um, don't get to do that or haven't done it for a long time and they still stay so yeah that's the best thing I ever did for myself I'm still waiting for that one question that's just like over the top so far I don't think the questions are too too bad they they're not like catching me by surprise bitch like you know this one is another two-parter okay have you ever been cheated on and have you ever cheated on someone yes and no okay have a little story though um of course almost everyone has experienced being cheated on in their lives now have you ever cheated on someone i have never cheated on anyone but 
um, I had a conversation with an ex of mine one time and he explained something to me that bothered him and I didn't realize back in the day 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 when I was younger and fucking dumb there were guys that liked me and he knew it and I kind of knew it too but in my mind I didn't think nothing of it I'm just like I don't like them so it's not really a big deal and I would see them around and they would start walking with me and talking and I would just be walking and talking with them like it's nothing like oh hey yeah da, da, da. and they were basically in some ways be escorting me to wherever I was going um no touchy no feely but it's just you know the look of it so then when they would get back to him he would just be like really like are you dumb? Like, I ain't doing anything. I just walk. But you wouldn't like it if I was walking with a female. No, because you really be trying to get at the females, you asshole. But I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. And I took it into consideration. Like, okay, I need to be more conscious. So back in the day, I used to do stupid stuff like that. Like being oblivious, you know, not really taking into consideration how the other person might look at situations. But to say if I actually like cheated, no, it's, it's not really my style. Like, if I'm with you, then I'm with you. And if I feel like I don't want to be with you, then I'm going to tell you I don't want to be with you. But there's really rarely any time that I'm not going to want to be with you because I decided to be with you and I really want to be with you because I'm a lover. Celebrity crush? Question mark. Aubrey Graham, hello. Are you ever going to get your teeth done? Well, bitch, you know... I'm just going to answer it because, I mean, it is a question. Yes. And as a matter of fact, I actually got my tooth pulled the other day. And you will be seeing a whole kind of like documentary on the reconstruction, bitch. And yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I didn't do YouTube for so many years. It's because I was insecure about them. And I was just like no <laughs> i'm not ready for that backlash but now it's just like yo whatever you know what i'm saying like it's what makes me special definitely gonna get them done i just have to make the money to get them done it's all about money these days so <sighs> gotta keep working at it do you have any kids no you guys already know that because that's one of my fears is not having kids can you come to Montreal? That's interesting. Um, I was actually talking to one of my friends about that. Like we talk about travel all the damn time. And that's one of the places that we wanna go. I just gotta brush up on my French and shit. Wee oui, wee. Oui. You know, shit like that. Um, but yeah, I I'm down for Montreal. Pepsi or Coke? How about water, bitch? If I had to choose though, definitely Pepsi over Coke. Coke has an aftertaste that I don't like. That's the shit I don't like. I don't like Coke's aftertaste, but Pepsi, but water, bitch. Should a man pay for all the bills? Um, I still have like an old school mentality of the man should take care of the overhead, like the rent, like where you guys lay your head um, and stuff like that. And then me as the woman, I can take care of inside the house just because how I was raised but this day and age as millennials um you're seeing a lot more relationships that just split things and keep things even and I don't see anything wrong with that either but I can see how some people don't understand it if they're more in a traditional you know mindset but I don't think a man should pay for all the bills no it has to be it has to be fair like I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Then why the fuck am I, you know, what you, that's called a sugar daddy, whatever. No, the man shouldn't pay for all the bills. I don't believe in that. Um, even like with dating and stuff, I think I'm more of the chick that I would pay for a date, you know? Um, but I would want you as the man first to take me out. And then if I'm feeling you, we're feeling each other, we go on a second date, then I'll take that date. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep, keep but initially though, as a man, yes, I want to be staring. I want, I want to be taken out. You know, that's that traditional side. But then I do have another side where I can, you know, just be fair about it, I guess. But anyways, that was a good question. Do you prefer your natural loose hair or your locked hair? My natural hair, um, 
I'm surprised because I don't miss it the way that I thought I would miss it but like how my hair is now like my locked hair believe it or not this is go back to my first not my first video but one of my first videos when I explained I did the two strand twist and I explained that I was gonna lock my hair go back to that video and look at the shrinkage and then come back here I should do a length, length check video honestly to tell you the truth maybe that's what I'll do next um, but yeah the only thing I think about is if this hair was undone the hair that I have on my head right now if it was loose natural hair how long would it be because this really guys is a lot of hair locks is just condensed hair that's growing on itself so if this was all combed out yes some would come out with it but if it was like detangled and combed out what my hair would be down my back like this would be down my back this is the longest my hair has ever been and I've never been able to achieve it until I did this so if I had to choose I would say I like my locked hair better but I would like to see I wish I could see how my locked hair now would look if it was loose if that makes any sense no question just wanted to say you one of the realest people I know <laughs> Like, when I saw this, I really did ass wanted to cry. Um, you have been somebody in my life, pss, what, that I have loved from day one. It's it's funny, because you say I'm the realist, but you're really the realist. Funny as f Just somebody who was always, like, positive and um, God-fearing and just smart as f But then still had this rugged kind of street side to you you know sometimes you used to work like down the street from where i lived at like a phone store and i know every time i would drive past there i would look and say oh is, is that nigga in there and i would see your head talking to the people but i appreciate that though um because you never know who you inspire in your life like with all the characters caricatures and people that you meet in life um, along the way you never know who you touch and it's funny that you say that about me when I've always felt that way about you so I appreciate that um, thank you for responding hey, oh I miss those times man I really do someone really asked me what my favorite color is <laughs> my favorite color is green um, and it could be any green but preferably like neon lime green bright almost kind of like yellow but not really but kind of it's the color of life color of money why do you think there are so many young black women that are single okay i gotta think about this one beats me um i think black women uh we are desired by every every man every race in a sexual way. <sighs> I'm speechless, I don't know. I mean, you can say, you know, there's a lot of our men that are locked up, you know, um, and the black foundation in general has just been kind of shattered and fucked up. And so the black woman has kind of just been out here, just like, hey, I'm still here trying to raise a family on my own and uh, do all these things. And Still make it in America. All I know is that my husband's out there somewhere. He is. <laughs> I'm, I, I speak of, I speak of it into existence. Okay. There are a lot of um, black, young, beautiful, educated, and worthy single black women. And believe it or not, you're seeing a lot more biracial relationships happening um, around these times and stuff because it's like it seems like it's not enough black men in the world. Like. I'm looking at it as being with a black man because that's what I want. It's just my preference. I would be with any other race. But my number one preference, if I could help it, I would like to be with a, a black man. It's almost like it's n they're non-existent. I know they exist, but it feels that way. I have so many friends and I've known so many people that are just, they're like, they're still single. Like, it could be the mentality of the generation too. It could be a generational thing, but there's so many factors. So that was a good question. That kind, that one, that one kind of got me. Where do you see yourself in five years? Shit. 
How old am I again? Okay, so in five years, I'll be 36. <laughs> Hopefully, I pushed out a fucking kid by then. <sighs> but if not, damn, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna be like a 40 year old mom. My friend's mother said that. She was like, Dad, you're gonna be a 38 year old with cats by yourself, no man. I was like, damn, damn, mom. You gonna do me like that for a French kiss? or pet. French kiss, hello. Gotta get up in there. Can you show me what that mouth do? Why do women feel the need to constantly keep up with fluctuating trends of the ideal body? This kind of goes back to that um, first question about plastic surgery. Societal pressures, wanting to be something that you're not. I call it subconscious infiltration. Thinking that you're not good enough, comparing yourself um, to what the ideal is. What is ideal? That's a hard one. First of all, that's something that's been uh, going on for centuries, whatever society it is at the time you know way back in the day 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 the european eras they wore them corsets that would cut their fucking oxygen off just to get i mean they would break bones they would literally break their rib cages in order to have a small waist uh, ancient chinese that they would basically like what cut their foot in half or or squeeze their foot into small shoes because small feet are more prettier like it's just society and usually as women um, besides our own insecurities I think we try to gravitate to what we know our men like so if you see a lot of men liking and gravitating towards um, BBLs uh, gravitating towards women who have may have had surgery then in your mind you're like oh well i'll get attention if i get surgery as well you know that's not always the case but i think subconsciously it kind of stems from that because there are more women than men and you know everybody just want to be loved everybody just wants somebody i feel like they constantly try to keep up so they're not left behind you know like whew. i mean like i said before earlier one of the reasons why i didn't do youtube is because I don't have a per perfect smile. I was insecure about that. Why am I insecure about that? Because all I see plastered on signs is, oh, have a Colgate smile. Like, I don't see anyone that have gaps. Well, now you do. Now there's models, you know, but back in the day, you didn't see that. I think we're just now getting a little bit more versatile with body image and what it means. And we have people like Ashley Graham and, um, Winnie Harlow and you know people that are just different that are just showing that beauty is and comes in all different kind of ways so we're kind of we're getting there we're not fully there yet because we still have issues and I think we'll always have issues um, but we're getting there but yeah I don't know if I really answered that question because that's probably that's probably one of the hardest questions I really don't know but it's just my opinion, opinion what I think. I think people just trying to keep up and subconsciously are insecure and don't know why. Like I was insecure about my breasts for the longest time, didn't know why. I have no idea why, why? It's because it's what I see in magazines. Thank you for all of your questions. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, hopefully I, I'll do this again and I can get to a point where I can't even get to all of the questions. Like. I definitely want to be like overwhelmed with questions, but this was literally, these were literally all of the questions um, and it wasn't too bad. I, I actually thought I was going to get more like nasty questions, but I really didn't. So that's cool. You guys really just want to get to know me and see where my head is at. I appreciate that. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. I've been doing this morning. You about to go yay. I'm about to go yay. I'm about to go yay. Go fuck what you say. I'm about to go yay. I'm about to go yay.